Oh, never leave the house without my bundle With all the pack of switches and some marijuana Oh, I never leave the house without my gas Oh, I never leave the house without my thumb, boy Oh, I never leave the house without my pack Oh, I never leave the house without my strap Oh, I never leave your bitch up in my house what is going on guys? It's your boy Sucker Stuff here and I'm here to present you guys a brand new Q&A. Uh, on Twitter I, used, I asked you guys to use the hashtag StuffQ&A or hashtag AskStuff, whichever which one you want. And uh, I asked you guys to give me questions on Twitter for me to do a Q&A. So now here I think I have about 20 odd questions, somewhere around like 23, 24 questions. So if you guys enjoy this, please leave a like on this video. It's really appreciative and um, like I said I'm going to start trying to upload more. I've just been really, really busy with uh, dealing with Psycho, with Love It and all that stuff, so I haven't gotten around the time to being able to upload, but here I am now doing a Q&A for you guys. I guess I'm going to try to upload as much as possible, and here we go. First question here is from Psycho Kobe. He asks, what are some of the differences in the design community now compared to when you started? Personally, I see that the community has expanded, and you know, there's a, t a bunch of talented designers in this community. Um, I in no way claim that I'm the best designer because I'm far from it, but at the same time I see that there's been a slight shift in how this community is like, not necessarily run, but the way it is. I see a lot more like shit talking and, you know, just bad stuff, and I just feel that the community has taken a good turn and also a bad turn, and I wish if uh, all this, you know, shit talking and all that shit went away, this community would be a thousand times better, but hey, it's the world we live in, this is what we have to deal with, so. Question two, we have Blunt, he asks, do you still love me? Hashtag stuff q and Of course I love you, Blunt. Worked with you for about, I think, four or five months, and I mean, I'm not just gonna hate you because you love Psycho, I mean, that'd be pretty pointless, so. Alright. Question three, he can have holographics. He says, will I ever join Psycho? And what will you do if you were to quit the community? How old are you? And face reveal. I mean, if anyone who wants to work hard enough can join Psycho, I mean, I'm an equal opportunity leader. I give everybody opportunities that they want. And, you know, if you really are the type of person that really gives off a lot of, uh, you know, good vibe and can really produce the great content that we need in Psycho, then of course I'll recruit you. Um... What will I ever do if I quit the community? <laughs> so I guess I'm a little bit sick. Um, I, I guess just go back to my old job and just uh, focus more on college and stuff. I mean, I know I know how to balance stuff very well, so that's not really gonna happen. But if it does happen, then I'll just go, you know, full-time college student and all that stuff. So uh, how old am I? I'm 19 years old. And will I ever do a face reveal? Yes, I'm going to be doing a day in the life video for 2,500 subscribers. Be doing a day in the life IRL video and stuff like that, so if you guys leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I will make sure to bring that out as soon as possible. All right. Question four from Desi, and she asks, if you ever had to force a second member to drink hot dog water, who would it be? Locked. Question five, Jago Bray. So, what inspires you to upload? I mean, I'm not really um, the type of person to really upload a lot, but what inspires me is the you know, the thing that I really want to build a good, strong uh, fan base on my channel. Um, like I said, I have a lot of stuff that I have to juggle around, and YouTube uploading isn't really at the tippy top of my list. Just simply because, you know, I upload at least, I think, like twice a month, so I gotta really start picking that up, like, really well. But I think eventually I'll get to it, so, you know, that's a, that's a good idea. Um, but yeah, what inspires me to upload is the. I really want to build a fan base here on my channel, and yeah. Question six from Moses: Fuck, Mary kill, Satanic, Colby, and Locked. And what is your favorite part about being in Psycho? And damn, why am I amazing? Fuck, Mary kill, Satanic, Colby, Locked. I have nothing against you, Locked. It's just that you are sometimes a fucking cock. So, fuck, Mary kill. Um, fuck, Satanic. Mary, Mary Colby kill locked, or vice versa. Mary Satanic, fuck Colby, it doesn't matter. It's the same shit anyway. And what is your favorite part about being in Psycho? My favorite part about being in Psycho is the connection with the fans that we have. I know a lot of people are like, oh, Psycho shit, Psycho this, Psycho that. 
they don't understand it at all. They're, they're coming from a closed-minded perspective. They don't see that we actually do have a amazing, amazing fan base. And uh, interacting with all the, the people that are inspired to join Psycho is really amazing. And just the, uh, the support I get within the leadership staff and the team itself. I really never expected that. You know, it's an amazing ton of support. I really want to thank the leadership staff for it. Even Locked. <laughs> I'm just joking, dude. But, um, I mean, in general, it is a really amazing team. And not a lot of people give Psycho the opportunity that it deserves to show that we are an amazing team. But, I mean, I guess the 200k team title is going to have to do with it. Ooh. Shh. Hashtag Intel. And damn, why am I amazing? I don't know, man. You, you just are. You're magical. I mean... You guys don't know, Moses is my IRL friend. I've known Moses for almost 10 years now. And me and him, I, I got Moses into, into this community, quote unquote community. And you know, he's building his way there. He's allowed a couple teams and stuff. So, big shout out to Moses. Question number seven from Tej is what inspired you to start YouTube? Just, you know, the generic type of thing, watching big YouTubers inspires you to upload, but. Yeah, stuff like that. I used to watch T. Martin. I used to watch uh, White Boy 7th Street back in the day. And, you know, Zerg Riz, um, all that. I used to watch those guys back in the day. I actually used to watch Psycho, um, the OG Dare tune and all that. I used to watch all their stuff. And that just inspired me to make a channel. I made my channel back in 2012. And I think it's been a pretty good run. About 2,000 something subscribers. And, you know, however long it is that I get to barely upload. But yeah, it would be that. Question number eight from Blixie. It says, when did you think you'd get this far? And if I was a turtle and you were a turtle show, could I be inside of you? Okay. So, Blixie asks, so when did I think that I would get this far? I mean, I don't really think that my stuff is going really too far. But, I mean, with, with hard work, you'll get as far as you want to get. So, you just got to keep trying for it and... I guess I just kept working hard. You know, I worked hard a little, a little harder than a lot of people did, so here I am, lead designer of Team Psycho. I mean, like I said, some people think that that's a bad thing, but, you know, personally to me, that's a really good achievement. And uh, if I was a turtle and you were a turtle show, could have been inside you? Go ahead, man. I have no, no problem with that. Question number nine from Ben's Warriors is, do you ever plan on joining another team? As of right now, probably not really, no. Um, I mean, I've been in this community for a long time, like I said, since 2012, and I started playing Call of Duty back in Call of Duty 3, and I just feel that, you know, there's no point of doing this, this team war, this team race, personally, because everyone's goal is face, or obey, or rep, so if they don't get in those teams, they quit, so, I mean, personally to me, I'm not in any rush whatsoever to try to join any of those teams. I'm perfectly content where I'm at right now. I'm just gonna keep going forward, see how long I can do in Psycho. So, as of right now, I have no team plans. Uh, message from Toast on a scale of 28.3 to Arabia. How sick is my GFX? Saudi Arabia. Imperial Milo, how long have you been in Psycho? I have been in Psycho for at least eight months now. Almost reaching my year mark in a couple months. From Quest Creations, what got you into designing? Watching a lot of uh, old designers like Ferox, Rated, Biggie, um, those guys back in the day and stuff, uh, Nikon, those guys really inspired me to want to start designing. But the man that really helped me to start designing, the two guys are Fero Designs, and I think he's an Ice now, Ice Ducky. Those two guys are the ones that made me want to start designing and yeah, they're really good, two good uh, friends of mine. Not really as close as Firo, but I'm really close to Ducky. And uh, I got to owe it all to him. Because without this, I probably would have never started picking up Photoshop. Question 13. Who is hotter, me or Psycho Holy? Um, me. Argos, again, do you ever plan on leaving your team? I know this is, he's putting this as a joke, but no, I don't plan on leaving Psycho. PFX Diva says, in your opinion, who is the most complex trick shotter slash feeder? Personally, I don't really focus on that type of stuff, but if anyone has to say, like, mainstream most complex, probably either Zymes or MGD in Psycho. Um, I don't know, Locked wanted the title, so I'll give it to Locked. 
Farting Trees or Dexia says, what teams were you in before Psycho? I was leader of Aura. I've been in a lot of teams. I've been in Synergy. I've been in, uh, this is actually my third time in Psycho. Um, I've been in a lot of teams, so... If you've ever heard of someone named Steph in a team, that's most likely me, except for Aquila, because there's a Aquila stuff. Or Aquila. Psycho Jerux asks, do you consider Psycho as a family? Of course. Uh, the, like I said, the undivided support that I've gotten in Psycho is just amazing. I feel that, uh, you know, more teams should take by that role instead of team. You know, I understand there's a limit between being lenient and then being a team. And, you know, there's a lot of things that go into that because you have to be strict with your team if you want to make it successful but at the same time you can't just te you know treat everything as a business because when we started this community it started as a family and now it's all become competitive and a lot of people have lost the aspect into that so really sucks that we've gone that way but Psycho definitely held on to those reins and are really showing that uh, Psycho is a family so yes I do consider Psycho as a family. Question 18 from Dacho. If you were gay, would you penetrate me? Of course, Dacho. You fucking beautiful pizza. Psycho Kobe asks, Now that you've been in the team for almost a year, what are the, some of the things you've enjoyed most while being in? Like I said, the support of Psycho has been in. Um, just the uh, the way that the, the team has run is very, very efficient. I really admire Colby, Satanic, and all of them for their, you know, the way that they treat the team and how they manage the team, especially Colby. Um, you, a lot of leaders should follow by Colby's example, how he does team update videos and stuff like that. He is very lenient when it comes to people hitting clips and, you know, he has to act tough whenever he needs to. And I personally think every leader should follow by that example. You guys really should follow Colby. He does really good advice and stuff like that. There's not an advertisement for Colby's Twitter, but I'm just telling you guys, know, you guys should, you know, check him out and stuff. But yeah, that's probably one thing I've enjoyed the most is the way the team is run and stuff like that. And like I said, the support that I've gotten since I was in Psycho. Question number 20. What motivated you to become a designer? Like I said, watching videos and stuff like that and Fero and Ducky's help, it really motivated me to want to become a designer because I did do editing for a bit. Didn't find, really find it as enjoying. I mean, I can edit and stuff like that, but designing is a lot more enjoyable for me and I really like the outcome of the designs that I do. So... If I had to come for anything, it would probably be the fact that, you know, designing is very fun and it's very, you know, satisfying at the end. And it could get you a very good career, you know, down, down later down the line. Psycho Meds, how are you black, my nigga? How are you not black? Meds, I didn't want to tell you this, but I'm not black. I am half Italian, half Dominican. If you do not know where the Dominican Republic is, please do me a favor and go get an encyclopedia because this is the last time I'm going to tell you. Aiden, please, says, what's the best way for a designer to join Psycho? Make work that is, you know, that you fucking try to think. Basically, you got to make work that stands out. I don't want to see any generic mainstream designs and stuff like that. I want to see people who can really go outside the box when it comes to designing and stuff like that. People make sure, so people know that the Psycho Designs team is strong and it's a really good team. I want to make sure that that happens. So, if you guys see that I don't really pick up too many people to Psycho, it's because I want to get the best of the best that we can. So, I mean, I know our current reputation isn't the best, but I'm working around that and trying to get the best that we can. So, if it means, you know, not recruiting for a bit, then that's what I'm going to have to do, but... Like I said, this is the best way that I'm doing this. Just prove to me that you really want to join Psycho, not just for a subscriber count, but you want to join Psycho as a team. Question 23 by Red Spider. Where do you see yourself in a year from now? In a year from now, I'll be starting my second year in college and I will most likely be moving out from where I live right now in New Jersey to a better place. And I most likely, if the team is still running and stuff like that, still probably at Psycho. That, that's my goal right now. And the last question is, on a scale of 1 to 10, how is your girlfriend? 18. So guys, I really want to thank you for sitting through this. I know it was kind of tough because the sound on nasally and all that shit sound nasty right now, but I really want to thank you guys for sitting through this. If you guys sat through this all the way, you were amazing. Make sure to leave a like on this. And I'll make sure to do that uh, Day in the Life video. I'm going to be producing a lot more commentaries and stuff like that for you guys. And I'm going to start doing more graphics tutorials for beginners on my channel. Sort of like how Sesso HQ and Kezi does. 
but I'm gonna be doing this for you guys who really want to start learning into designing you know I'll do the basics how to blend stocks how to make everything look good and stuff like that so if you guys want that leave a like on this video if I could break 50 likes on this so that'd be fucking amazing it's been your boy Psycho Steph I will see you guys later in the next video peace